Hey, happy Friday. It's Friday afternoon, the sun's out. Welcome to Kevin Toll Reads. I have another, this is the second book haul in this week. So I just got back from running errands and I visited a local bookshop and picked up some books. So I want to share those with you all. I went in with a list, had a specific list of books that I wanted to read. As James says in little the Little Big Library, he's like, you know, you, you add books to a TBR that you may never, ever read. And I want to make sure I was picking up specific books. And then obviously delve into some ones that maybe catch my eye. But I got some books. I have seven books in total. I picked up, firstly, book five and six in the Cotton Malone series. I will be starting the Cotton Malone series next week. So I picked up books five and six in uh, Mass Market Paperback. I'm looking forward to that. Um, that was a recommended read uh, by Nerdishly Active, one of my subscribers, and I'm going to start that. That has been on my current TBR, and so uh, I'm going to start that next week. By the way, I've been probably going to do a video and kind of explain, you know, how I go about, you know, this t TBR thing and then my weekly readings and my video ideas and my goals and all that and kind of give you my thoughts around that as well. So be on the lookout for that. Uh, the second or the third book I got was Anisi, Anisi Boys, which is by Neil Gaiman. I picked this up. This is actually a new copy that was marked down. Um, at the bookstore, but I've been looking for this book for a while, and so I picked this up. I've really grown to like Neil Gaiman as a writer, and so I, he's kind of quirky kind of books, and so I definitely want to give this a try. I found another kind of newish book that I didn't pay full price for, but at the same time, it looks like it's only been thumbed through once, and that is Hunted by Darcy Coates. It was in their horror section, but it sounded interesting. You know, it, it, here's kind of like the back part of it. Five days after Eileen Hirschberger went missing on a hike through the remote Ashlow Forest, her camera was discovered washed down river containing bizarre photos taken hours after her disappearance. But with no body and no additional clues, finding Eileen in the dark in whiny woods seems next to impossible. Chris wants to believe her, his sister is still alive. When the police search is abandoned, he and four of his friends vow to scour the mountain range until they find Eileen and bring her home. But as the small group strays farther down from the trails and the unsettling discoveries mount, they begin to realize they're not alone. And Eileen's disappearance was no accident. So that, I, you know, that sounds right up my alley. I know you can kind of be misled and went in some of those flaps and back summaries can be kind of misleading but i thought that was interesting so i picked that up and then based on hide and read who's been giving me lots of love on youtube lately i would took the dive and i think james at little big library was also uh, a proponent of westerns and then there was oh, i know there's there's been a several people make great comments recommend different things giving me positivity so i definitely plan on a thank you video soon and kind of a shout out to some of these other channels and some of the new subscribers to my channel but with that being said i picked up three louis lamour westerns i actually before i get into these i did some research obviously i was trying to find flint i think that was the one that um Hyde and Reed suggested. And so I was trying to find that one. They didn't have a copy of that one. So maybe I'll order it off of Thrift Books. But they had quite a bit of selection in their Western area, and especially with Louis L'Amour. But I did some research prior to going, and I kind of had a list of different ones that sounded like that were the best of the best. And obviously that's other people's opinion. But it's also based on good reads and scorings and all that. But I picked up this is from the Sackets, and I was really excited to find out that Louis L'Amour writes series. So there's books that are in these different series with similar characters. So I, I thought that was really cool, too. That's right up my alley. But this is a, one of the Sackets books, and it is To the Far Blue Mountains by Louis L'Amour. 
And then we have The Last of the Breed by Louis L'Amour. And then we have The Quick and the Dead. And this old Western looking paperback. And they had a ton of these. These are Bantam books, paperbacks. I mean, I remember seeing these as a kid. I mean, this is a 155 pages book. I mean, I should be able to fly through that. But I picked those up. Obviously, I've been recommending, you know, you read, check out these authors, you check out these books and why. And so others have been giving me comments and feedback, which I've asked for. And and I've it's been great. And so I wanted to take the dive and read my first Louis L'Amour. So that will probably make its way on to my reshuffle TBR soon. I am getting ready to uh, conquer and check off the last couple books on my my TBR. So I'll have to probably do a new, another reshuffle of the TBR soon. So, but that's it. That's my little book haul, the second one of this week. So I hope you're all having a great Friday. Um, I am about to get just a little bit of an update. I'm about to get, uh, about to finish Golden Prey, which is book 27 in the Lucas Davenport series. It's good. It was really good. I'm enjoying it. I'm about, I've, I'm almost done with it. And then I started the Ken Liu short stories collection, The Hidden Girl and Other Stories. I don't I I, I don't want to say anything yet. I really don't I, I'm dying to tell you, like so far. I'm about 70 pages in. Um I really thought after reading this and how good this is, this is fantastic short story collection. It was the first Ken Liu book I read. This next short, the one, uh, the the Hidden Girl and Other Stories, which I'm reading, is the second Ken Liu book I've read, and it's a short story collection as well. I really thought that after reading this, The Paper Menagerie, that I wanted to read more, but then I was like, you know, I'm probably not going to like the next book as much as I liked The Paper Menagerie, and I could be wrong. I'm just going to leave it at that. You know, I'm, again, I'm I'm only like 20% through the book, but I'm through, I'm in the third story. And the first two were like, blew me away. I was really like, they were really solid. And I'm like, okay, if this continues, you know, we, <laughs> we could be talking book of the year. But anyways, I don't want to jinx it really. I do. I don't want to jinx it, but um, I'm, I'm, I'm very... Pleasantly, pleasantly surprised and I'm enjoying it. So there's kind of a quick update along with this book haul. I hope you're having a good Friday. As you can probably tell, I've got a lot that I want to share. And so, you know, be on the lookout. There'll be a book review for Golden Prey and a book review for the Ken Liu short story collection coming this weekend. I hope you're having a great weekend. I hope you get to read some great books, do something relaxing, enjoy life. And I will talk to you guys later. Thanks.